Greetings, friends. It's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another collage of boots. <laughs> All right. This is like, uh, what am I, the fourth in this series. I start with my charcoal vine pencil and draw in the boots, and then I'll be ready to begin the collage. The fun thing about this one was I had one boot, a photograph, of course, but um, I didn't have a photograph of the, the second boot with another angle, so I had to make that up. And halfway through this, you'll find that I don't like the angle, so I'm going to change the toe somewhat. Still. No, that's how I go about it. It's collage. I can do that. I can change things if I want to. And I'm going to go with a light, mm, creamy tan for the background so that the boots really um, stand out against the, um, the color of the background. Now, the photograph had these boots looking rather worn and kind of wrinkled across the back ankle and um, I like that it, it you know it looks loved <laughs> and used and not something that sits up on a pedestal or um, hanging on a wall as a decoration but an actual work working boot and that's what they should look like right My dad had a cowboy hat that was very, very worn, very loved. And as much as we hated the look of it, after a while it started looking very ragged. We wanted to replace it. We girls. Yeah. And he was not going to have it. He loved the feel of that old worn hat. And so we told him, someday, Dad, we're going to buy you a ranch and we're going to call it the Ugly Hat Ranch. <laughs> and he said, bring it on. <laughs> That's because he loved that old hat. It was, it was so um, greasy around the rim. Um, <laughs> it, looked, it, it looked like he had worked hard. Oh, many years in that hat. And I don't know. I guess he had. Now the leaf pattern I cut out ahead of time because, as you can see, I'm going to cover up a lot with, with my background colors and I don't want to lose the pattern itself. So... I had to stick on those um, those leaf patterns after I put all the rest of this background color onto the boots themselves. Also, in my my reference photograph, the boots looked. Um, very tan, almost, um, almost raw, like there was very little, if, if any, um, tint or dye left on the leather, but, um, finding just that right color of tan is almost, well, almost impossible. I suppose if I had kept looking, I could have. I think I like the warm oranges anyway, so I went with it. Kind of orangey gold. And that way I can hide pictures. I decided to put the head of that cat. Pardon me, that cat right in the middle.
So you can see I'm really rushing right along, but actually this process took um, five or six days. I would often walk away. Um, I'm working on something else or I'm working on a number of things and I have to come back to this over and over again. And you know, sometimes that, that gives you a whole different outlook. You, you walk away from something and you come back and you see things you didn't see the first few um, hours, days even, like the, the toe on the boat, boot that's in front is just too long. It's at the wrong angle now because the toe is too long. And so I ended up having to cut it short. And you see, I went over it with that dark, and now I'm going to go over it with a whitish background color. And I'm sticking on my... <laughs> I have to move that one over. It's too close. There we go. It's a little better. See, that makes the angle look better. And they've got to put in the trim. And there, I've shortened the toe. Now, as I recall, the sole was a little more gray, but the gray just was not going to show up against um, this boot color and background color. And so here it's all finished. I've only put the slightest bit of trim. I could have actually put more, but it would almost be too much. The leaf details were very subtle anyway, kind of a stitching and not really a, a cut out in the leather. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this all the way to the end. Do check out some of my links and come again, see what else I'm working on. Bye everyone. I'll see you next time.